Hello, welcome again to a next tutorial which is intended to continue developing the database. Uh, at the last count, what we did was demonstrating the fact that we have a database system that is interactive. If you attempt to enter and save empty spaces, it will alert you that you need to correct things. Now we want to create uh, the back end where data which would be entered here will actually go into uh, some place and get stored within that area and which you can retrieve and interrogate in the future. Join me, let's go on. So we have something known as SQL you need to import the module, set import SQLite. Now, the good thing about this is that it's a database that is linked to Python. And so you really don't need any extra issues to bring it into your modules. Right, so once you've imported this, you want to create a table and there is a syntax that goes with it. And you can copy this as I have done here. So you call it SQLite, it does that for you. You connect and you can call your database anything, but make sure there is a DB at the end of it as an extension. So let's call this um, Glend, Glend Register. Or patient registration or something dot DB whatever you put there make sure you actually put it in quotation single or double is fine right once you've connected you create a cursor cursor is actually like the system by which you can actually interrogate the database and you create that bracket and once you create that cursor you then execute you're going to put some code inside that space and once you've executed it is a good practice to commit it because that is what will then bring the information onto your app and then you close. Okay. You watch this space at some point, you're going to see that this client registration DB will appear here. But let me just um, show you a lot more information here. Right, so the syntax that you need to create is uh, done, you put six double quotes, okay? Walk three into it and you can create Table. If not exists, let's call that table with a name records. No, no, let, let's let's use something else. Um, patients or something, and open and close bracket and you then populate this place with the parameters you need to create. There are five things here, name, date of birth, gender, 
address form. So we can call the parameters that you want to put in here as let's say full full name full name and it's a text. Next will be date of birth DOB is a text as well and then gender is a text and then at home address is a text and then phone contact is an integer okay each of these will after you write them you put a comma at the end but the last one does not need a comma okay so in order to see this database being created for you you actually save this or what you can run that is start debugging and it will show this but that's not my interest here just to show that the database table has been created so let's look at this place the name is client rich dot db you can see that it's been created here for you you can look at that and see it here if you're using visuals to the court and it captures all that there is within it okay that has successfully created a database. The next tutorial will be to populate this database and use this window which we have created and submit information into the database which will be stored.